Thank you all for coming. I shall now read out a short statement I've prepared. I have, today, after consulting with the PM, brackets, and running it past my family, slash wife, slash what have you, close brackets, decided to resign as the MP for Nipslip and Crackden. It is with great sadness that I make this decision, especially as I lose all parliamentary privileges, and they would have come in handy, considering I have also lost my consultancy jobs with Cloaca Clunge, Clinker Crack and Chuffcock Capitalists, Bum Guff and Follow Through, and Slap It, Spit On It and Stick It In. The last few days have been incredibly difficult for me. Never in my entire political life have I been subjected to this level of criticism, which the press have themselves admitted was really quite mild. My integrity, which I hold almost as dear as my salary, has been called into question on several occasions. I cannot sit idly by and let this witch hunt continue. If I were an actual witch in committing some of the senseless acts that they are known to commit, black magic, seances and terrorising Kansas-born head trauma victims in glitzy shoes, I doubt I would have received as much harassment and as abuse as I have this past week. And for what? Simply holding down three other jobs in addition to my role as an elected Member of Parliament and facilitating the completion of governmental contracts for a substantial fraction of the agreed fee. Senseless. However, I am aware that these recent allegations pale in comparison to my use of a non-disposable cup during a time of heightened sensitivity around climate conservation. In my role as government sustainability czar, I should have known better than to accept an unrecyclable cup from a working class coffee vendor who barely understood the concept of a macchiato, let alone deforestation. But this is not to make an excuse for my actions or to place the blame onto Pat, who works at the Upper Crest branch in Cockring Station, though she should have known better if her bad reading manager was anything to go by. One can only assume that I am the collateral damage in the case of an unskilled worker picking up the wrong tabard. To reiterate, I am resigning over the cup. I will remain a public servant, but outside the cruel, unfeeling world of politics. I devote my life to public service in whatever ways I can, though I draw the line at being one of those people who hangs around motorway laybys picking up litter with mechanical grabby sticks. I have a degree from my father's university, after all. As this is an incredibly challenging time, I ask that you respect my wishes and direct any questions and inquiries to my wife and children. They are in a much more stable position than myself and therefore more able to manage the constant press intrusion. I wish them all the best with it. Also, you know, I was supposed to put something in about my constituents, but, you know, I'll get Lucian to fax them. <coughs> thank, you very much. Much. thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you